<laughs> Let's talk about this helper, man. You talk about somebody that has is destroying their, you know, destroying whatever goodwill was built up artificially, right? Becky Hammond, right? Y'all know I did a video about Dierica, a WNBA player, Dierica Hamby. She got pregnant by Orlando Scandrick. He was a former NFL player. He he dated um, Drea. And now he's impregnated Derricka, right? <laughs> and Becky Hammond didn't like that. Even though Becky Hammond has children. She has young children, it looks like. I'm assuming these are her children. Hold on. Let's see. I believe these are her kids that she got with her. Hold on. I don't know. I don't know if those are her kids. Maybe they're not. Shout out to Maul MC. We all know who running this relationship. Oh, yeah. Appreciate that. Now, I I'm not quite sure. I'm assuming Becky has children. Right. Or these are her, you know. Could be her grandkids. Who knows? I don't know. But I find it funny how she had a problem with Dierica. Now, she only got suspended two games over alleged comments about a player's pregnancy. It lets you know how important they feel like she is, right? They feel like Becky Hammond is that important to the organization. But um, I, I did a video about Dierica, all right? And I felt like that situation was messed up because women can't control. If not, nah, they can't control. But if a woman is having unprotected relations... Um, they're going to get pregnant, Becky. It's not like a guy that can wear a condom every time he sleeps with a woman and can avoid, you know, getting a woman pregnant. Even if he did, he still can play basketball. But I guess she didn't like the fact that Dierica got pregnant and she has some things to say. You know? Who, do, who are you talking about, Trill? Put in the chat room. Now... I want to get into this article, but I want y'all to understand the WNBA is a failing women's basketball league. I just posted a video about them yesterday. They're a failing NBA, they're a failing uh, women's basketball league. And this is what Dierica was saying. She was saying that, you know, they were bullying and there were manipulation going on because she decided to get some D and they didn't like it <laughs> and get pregnant. You know, so let's get into this article from uh, TMZ. Becky Hammond, who many believe could potentially become the NBA's first ever female head coach, has just been suspended two games by the WNBA after the league determined she made inappropriate remarks about the pregnancy of one of her Las Vegas Aces players. The WNBA said in a statement Tuesday that following a months long investigation into claims that Aces, that the Aces mistreated pregnant star Dierica Hamby, it found that Hammond did violate a respect in the workplace policy during a conversation with the player. The league did not say specifically what it believes the head coach told Hamby, though in a statement it said the comments were made by Ham my Hammond to Hamby in connection to Hamby's recent pregnancy. She like you getting some D by Orlando. <laughs> Orlando, you know. Like, why are you concerned? Okay, I'll look into that, Trill. It's like, okay, women are going to get pregnant, okay? Unless a woman decides to, to regularly take contraceptives or get her tubes tied. Women are going to get, or they just don't like men. They're going to get pregnant, Becky. And I think she, you know, again... People vilify coaches in college and in the NFL. And so when you have women who claim to be for other women, it's all a joke. 
Shout them. Er AJ, hey, you getting so on other SM platforms? You getting so on other platforms? What do you mean, Eric? All right, let's see. Where is it? All right. The WNBA also docked the Aces a 2025 first round pick. Following his findings, Hanby first went public with the allegations in January after she was traded from the Las Vegas traded from Las Vegas to Los Angeles Sparks. In a lengthy statement on her social media page, Hanby alleged the Aces bullied, manipulated, and discriminated against her as she told the team she was pregnant. You say you're getting shout outs from other platforms. Oh, okay. Yo, well, shout out to, to, to Steve. Steve follows me on Twitter. He retweets me a lot. Yeah, man. Salute to him. And Jason Woodlock all them. What's up, B Fierce? I knew there would be a part two to this. I knew there would be a part two to this. Because this whole Der Derricka thing, I'm pretty sure that it comes from a place of hate for these women actually having personal lives with men. I'm going to be honest with you because, you know, you have a lot of these women who want these, they want these female basketball players to be like male basketball players. Cause you see Becky Hammond was coaching. She was an assistant coach in the NBA and she wants access to these players when, when they need it. She don't need these players going off for maternity leave, like maternity leave. What? Maternity leave. See, she's used to coaching men when she was in San Antonio. But when she gets to the WNBA, she got she has to worry about maternity leave, and she she don't want to have to deal with that. But if a male coach would have been accused of what Becky Ham was accused of, he'd be suspended more than ten games. They'd be trying to get him fired. Look at how they treat women. Look at the disgusting way they talk to these women. She's trying to be a mother. Look at how they are treating her. Because Derricka wanted some D. <laughs> All because. Shout out to Eric again. Maybe she's upset she ain't getting some first. You know what? You know, there could be some jealousy there. You know, it could be some jealousy there. Maybe she, you know, maybe she thought she had a chance. Yeah, because I'm telling you, Los, Los Angeles got, not so Angeles, the, the Las Vegas Aces got a roster full of women that like men, okay? Not all of them, but one of them got married to a football player. The other one getting having a kid by an ex-football player. <laughs> yeah, Darren Waller married, um, he married her ex-teammate. And they don't like it. This was the this was the post that went viral that I made my video about. She also accused the team of promising her things to entice me to sign my contract extension that were not followed through on. I was asked if I planned my pregnancy. She wrote of the aces in her statement. When I responded no, I was then told that I was not taking precautions to not get pregnant. You see. She said the pregnancy wasn't planned, which lets you know that Dierica was just trying to get some D. That's it. She was trying to get some D. That's why the pregnancy wasn't planned. What they're probably saying is, um, well, Dierica, why didn't you tell that guy to wear a condom or why weren't you taking contraceptives? It's because women don't like taking contraceptives. They want to put all the emphasis on men wearing condoms. But women got every excuse in the book why they don't want to take contraceptives. Dierica just wanted some D and they knew that. And that's why they got mad. She continued. I was being traded because I wouldn't be ready and we needed bodies. Hamby said, despite the pregnancy, she fully planned to play in the 2023 season, which just kicked off this month. But the team was still angry with her over it and decided to trade her nonetheless. You see, I will say this though about women's basketball players 
Um, there needs to be, and, and also the WNBA, you need to have some sort of conversations and, and have, you know, some type of policy in place then that protects you from looking embarrassed so that these women understand, listen, if you don't have planned pregnancies and, and you just get you planned pregnancies and you get pregnant out of nowhere, then ultimately that's going to be on you. I don't think they have a policy like that. I think they just didn't like the fact that she got pregnant, period. And that they felt like she was being irresponsible. Which, I mean, she's a woman. She's a woman that that likes men and wanted some D. So, I mean, it, it, I don't think she was thinking about precautions and planning. I don't think she was concerned about that. <laughs> I don't think she was concerned about that, man. The unprofessional, unethical way that I have been treated has been traumatizing. The 29-year-old said... In her January statement to be treated this way by an organization by women who are mothers who have claimed to be in these shoes, who preach family, who chemistry and women's empowerment is disappointing and leaves me sick to my stomach. 46 year old Hammond took over as head coach of the Aces back in December 2021 after years of working as assistant of San Antonio Spurs staff. Many, including Byron Scott, have said she deserves one day to be the first female head coach in the NBA. I think that would be a disaster. Look at, look at how many good, and this is just a side note. Look at how many good head coaches in the NBA have been fired. She would have to do an astronomical job in order to keep her job. You got championship winning coaches being fired, right? Coaches with really good records getting fired. Those players are not going to listen to her. They may list her as an assistant, but as a head coach, they're going to tune her out. Maybe not at first, but when the going gets tough, and she really has to get out there and coach, I think it could be a disaster. I just think that in this situation with Becky Hammond, I think that Becky Hammond just, you know, showed who she is. She's a, you know, she she's hating on the fact that her players out here getting, you know, <laughs> getting their backs blown out, you know? And she asking, is it planned? These are women. What do you mean, is it planned? When have the, listen, when have the, when have women planned anything when it comes to a man? <laughs> you know, you asking for something that a lot of these women who like men can't really deliver Becky. And I believe it ain't Becky Hammond a mother, but Becky doesn't care. Becky cares about winning and she's used to coaching players who she doesn't have to worry about maternity leave and all that. All, you know, injuries is the only thing they have to worry about or or suspension but um yeah man i, I just think that you know I, i'm not surprised by this at all and that's why i think becky hammond and the nba will be a disaster